like my dirty brushes that I really like. No, because you can feel that they're like used. I love it. Yeah. It feels really yeah. good. It's like they've been through shit. Mm hmm. I love it. All right, friends, today we're doing rose quartz nails and we're using, guess what, the color rose quartz. I literally made the color rose quartz for the rose quartz nail design. Like, I was like, we need the perfect pink for rose quartz nails. So obviously, here it is. Named it rose quartz and everything. Made it super easy. But also it is just like a really nice, cute, like sheer pink. Um, yeah, so first step, I just did a thin layer of it. Um, you can do as thick or as thin of a layer as you want, depending on like the pinkness that you really want from the rose quartz, but we're just doing a thin coat first on top of a clear base and curing it. Easy step one, done and done. Also, rose quartz is just like the perfect design for like those clients that like want to dabble in art, but love their like neutral kind of nails. So it's like, it's like a secret party. It's like a secret nail art. But I mean, look how pretty rose quartz the color looks by itself. It's so fresh and crisp and clean. I love it. So yeah, one coat, done. Cure it, beautiful, nice and clean, love it. Second step, get your little palette ready, whatever you dabble your colors on. And I'm gonna take Spritzer, which is like a, a pretty sheer, it's a sheer, it's almost like a jelly. It's like a dark magenta jelly. And then you're gonna take the smoosh brush, which is this like kind of small squarish brush, and you're gonna dip it into the spritzer color, and you're gonna start building your rose quartz layers. Oh. I know, I'm like, <laughs> what? Oh, no. Okay, don't be scared. It's not hard at all. Don't think too hard. All you're gonna do is take a little bit on your brush and I'm just like being really wiggly with my smoosh brush and almost like pushing it upwards to like create like a little bit of like a line at the top and then blurring the bottom. It's almost like you're smearing it. You're smearing it across the nail but leaving like a little bit of a line so it adds a little bit of depth. And another alternative that you can do is you can actually skip this step if you really want. I've done it if I'm like running behind in the salon where I just skip the darker pink. And let me just show you real quick just a couple different versions of rose quartz I've done so you can just feel better about skipping steps if you're running late because it's cute both ways. So like here's a couple of examples of it without the like dark pink smooshy layer still very cute and just like adorable and then here's a couple of examples of it with the dark pink layer also you're gonna see it at the end of this video as well but just wanted to show you what it would also look like with gold flakes and stuff too because duh so yeah continue on with the darker pink layer if you want um, I'm gonna continue and do it on all the rest of these nails and I would say a good couple rules that I usually go by is I only do like two sort of stripey things per nail because I don't want to overdo it. I still want the lighter pink to be showing underneath. And then second, um, make it as squiggly as possible. Don't make it like super straight and stripey. You want it to be really squiggly just because that's how the natural crystal is, you know? It's not like super perfect. So now here is me. Here's the final look on that hand and here's me doing the other hand. And now that that layer is all cured, you're gonna take your white, and now we're gonna move on to the detailer brush, but keep your smoosh brush out because we're gonna need it in a second. Also, side note, this is how you clean your brushes. The only thing that gets gel out of your gel brush is more gel. Do you see how I swiped that? The last client had silver, so I swiped it around in the white and the silver came out. Like, look at, watch the little, I'm gonna swipe it back and forth in the white, and then when I wipe it on my wipe, you can see all the leftover silver watch see and now it's all out you can kind of see it on the palette but now it's all nice and clean and I didn't have to dry my brush out with alcohol or harsh things like acetone 
That is how you clean your gel brushes. Anyway, so now I'm gonna do pretty much the same thing almost that I did with the pink layer, but with lines. So squiggly lines, not really matching up with the pink lines, just kind of going over in like X's, Y's, upside down Y's, equal signs, but very squiggly. Not making anything perfect, not making anything super um, symmetrical at all. Just the squigglier, the better. And if you can kind of see, I'm making part of the line a little thicker, part of the line really thin, just feel it out. Then with your smoosh brush, I didn't cure those lines. You're gonna go in and smear it. So it's like we already learned how to do that with the pink layer. Now we're just redoing that with the white lines. So I'm almost like kind of just going up against the line and smearing it downwards. And if I feel like there's not enough gel in that line, I'll just grab a little bit of white and put it on my brush and it adds a little bit more to the smearing. I'm just like, brushing the lines downwards and if it looks too like not blended I just kind of dab it and it blends the white super easy because it's not like a lot of white it's nothing crazy um, it just makes it super easy the more you try to think about what rose quartz looks like the more you're going to mess yourself up I say just go for it with squiggly lines and just these exact step steps and it's super easy just don't overthink it it's going to be fine here's me doing the rest of the nails go see that's literally like the hardest part of this design and it's not hard at all but this is the final step is you're gonna take the color rose quartz again after you cure everything and put a thin coat over it because rose quartz is sheer but obviously it has that pink tint so I'm just adding it and just encasing all the layers that we did to make it nice and glassy and smooth and it just does the trick you can go as thin or as thick of a layer as you want on this depending on like how subtle you want it to be versus like how much you want to see all the layers underneath just play around with it and have fun with it and then here is the final product from today's nails thanks for watching